by your house at the end of our street Lined with some white and gold daisies Making the memory right under my feet with you Since we've, been, since we've been together, you've brought into my life a sense of peace that I've always longed for. And with that came a calmness that puts everything into perspective. Indeed, having you in my life for the last three years has been more of a religious experience than all my past years combined. Your love begets a type of freedom only, only referred to in religious scriptures, perhaps even as salvation. This must be the same feeling people have when they claim that they've seen the light. Your love not only allows me to uncompromisingly be my true self, but also inspires me to reciprocate that sense of fullness and security to you and to others as well. Through, throughout our relationship, you've not only changed me for the better, but also somehow improved my relationship with the people I love most, my family. We're finally here, and getting here wasn't easy. And if the wedding planning is a preview of what married life to you will be like, I'll take it in its entirety. Because in spite of the arguments and disagreements, we worked together and we made it to today. We aren't the type to be loud and cheesy, but perhaps today will be an exception. You have accepted and loved every part of me, with every signature Christina I wrote. With you, I am wholly myself, and at the same time, compelled to be even better. Second to my dad and mom, the safest place I have ever felt is in between your arms. So Miko and Christina, the day has arrived. We are all here. Your bilaterally extended families, your friends, the people who matter the most in your lives are here. I pray for you to launch a new chapter in your life. So, Miko and uh, Christina, be this magic mirror to each other. Not only reflecting who the other is, but also and encouraging and nourishing each other to become the best person that you could be. Cheers, cheers, cheers. If I'm a shard at this feeble heart, this turn so cold. As cheesy as it sounds, he taught me what true love means a constant and lasting commitment that knows no bounds, and a complete detachment from pride. It is forgiving even when unwarranted, understanding with no rhyme or reason. Deliberate without reward and enduring, especially in trying times. I cut the ropes and tie me to this strange affinity. I'm jumping ship before we sail in case that I go under and lose her. It's just a risk I can't take. Well, I guess I'm too scared. I'm not one to make promises. But with all that I am and with all the love that I have for you, I offer up our hopes for our future to God, and I pray that He does His good work in us. I pray that I will be a faithful and loving wife to you. I pray that I will be the best mom for our future family. I pray that I will always support you, even and especially on your bad days. 
I pray that I continue to strive to be better, not just for you, but also for me, because then I can be my best self for us both. Well, I guess I'm just scared. Signature eye rolls, your inexplicable addiction to shopping games, your don't miss, your strange love for Excel files, and your mini dance moves every time you see sweet sweets on the din on the dining table. You have been my home for the past few years, and I've never felt more privileged than I am now looking at the person that'll be my home for the rest of my life. Whatever happens, happens. And that goes for the day and for the rest of our lives as well. Come with me, I know that at the end of the day, we'll always choose you. Thank you for choosing me. And I'm just so excited to go through and grow through every phase of life with you. This is just the beginning. I love you.